everybody, welcome back to CJ Explores. Today we have done a day trip from Perth and we have come to Rottnest Island. All right, everyone, we have finally made it to Rottnest Island and we've just taken the ferry. We got up super early this morning. We were up at five, uh, went down to the terminal uh, after we picked up our bikes and uh, made the journey across. Short 25 minute on the ferry and now we're here. Oh my God, we've literally just stepped off the ferry and there's already co-workers, we're so excited. How many quokkas have you seen already? <laughs> I've seen probably about 10 quokkas so far. So we've just come straight off uh, the ferry onto the island and it seems like this area is where all these little accommodation is. It looks very basic and there's some bakeries and cafes down there. So, so our plan is to go and explore some of the beaches up north and then head back down here for some lunch or some brunch and then do a cycle around the entire island. So we have a very big day. But and that's e why we got e-bikes, because we knew we had a long way to go today to sleep all in one day. And I'm so happy. <laughs> we decided to pay the extra money to hire some e-bikes. Well, well, well. My hammer's too loose. beach here on Rottnest Island and it's Pinky's Beach. We were told that this is a very nice beach and it is! It's a very nice beach! I really like it, it's really nice. It's definitely giving me some Mediterranean vibes, nice and rocky but with some nice sand. We've got that lighthouse just up there that we were just at and there is a beach club over there which I think we're gonna go and check out and see if we can get breakfast there. Looks like they have some really cool safari tents here to stay in. And it's like a nice little beach scub. They've got a good pool there. Okay, so we have got breakfast from a couple of different places. Charlotte has gone for Frankie's on Rotto and I went to the lane next door. I've got some avocado and a coffee and I nearly had it stolen by a corker. You can't sit it down on the floor or on bench seating because they will jump up and they will have a go at it. They even tried to steal my coffee. We're having a very special breakfast date this morning with the Cockers at Frankie's. Not even one. I want to start this. Next to Pinky's Beach is the basin and I have to say this little pool of water looks so inviting. People just seem to be jumping in with their snorkel kit. I really want to go for a swim but also just want to go around the corner a bit more and check out maybe that area a little bit further down. Then maybe come in there but I think I'm definitely going to go and dip in there soon. Very nice uh, area to ride a bike isn't it? Yeah. It's really nice, nice and flat here. Actually that's a bit hilly but because we have the e-bikes, I don't know, it's probably hard work. But we're just speeding up. Okay, we have come to the next beach along just after the basin and this one here is so nice. I think it's where all the boats anchor up. It seems to be a pretty well protected little beach. Uh, but we're going to jump in here because we're starting to get a little bit warm even on our e-bikes. <laughs> oh, it is a bit chilly out there. <laughs> swim. It's a little bit cold but nothing you can't handle. The weather is perfect so it's 38 degrees on mainland today at Perth City but here at Rottnest Island it's a high of 29. So much better we can definitely handle that. <laughs> Woo! This is Bay's Bay it looks so nice. We're just cycling around stopping at each beach and I think that's just pretty much what you do around Rottnest Island, just cycle around the top of the beaches. Try not to run over any quokkas. <laughs> yeah, and try not to run over any quokkas. There's some people snorkeling out there by the rock. We're at Georgie Bay now, but it is shark water, so I don't know. I'm not sure if I would do that. But I want to get back in the water soon because I'm getting pretty hot. Should we go in here or the next one? Next one. All right, let's go. Um, to me, maybe a bit more sun is that, but that lake looks pink. 
A tinge of pink definitely, but we seem to just be going now into the open area past all the accommodation. It seems to have stopped there past uh, those beaches. And now we seem to be going more around the other side of the island, don't we? So located all around the island are these maps and they give you a little bit more information of the area which you're passing through. So right now we've just gone past Geordie Bay, past Parakeet Bay and we are going to continue west around the island. Um, and I think it's getting very much uh, less infrastructure here, less buildings and less food and stuff. So we don't have any plan today, we are just cruising around the island, stopping off at all the bays and seeing everything there is to see. Um, there are some sand dunes here, we're in Armstrong Bay now, and I think this is Parakeet Bay in particular that we're going to go and check out. I really like that beach, that was really nice. Maybe my favourite so far. Parakeet Beach, yeah, definitely add that one to your list. Really nice. Really get Mediterranean vibes from, well, it's Trick Point in Perth. And then, yeah, just all the rocks around here, like the ocean's nice and clear. Just, we've got the sharks though. No, they just move, remove the sharks. We're in the med. I saw the eyes cute little secluded bay, isn't it? Very cute. Little Armstrong Bay, it is. So pretty! It just looks like an amazing spot just to spend the day. Kind of glad now we're only here for one day. On reflection, we should have stayed here maybe a night or so and just cruised our way around. Probably should have brought the snorkel kit too. It's just so clear, it would just be nice to see that swim underwater, wouldn't it? Mm. I'm glad we got e-bikes. Me too. Like, it is a bit hilly and it's not, you know, really, wouldn't be super hard in, in normal bikes, but I just think if you're short of time, and you want to just see as much as you can and e-bikes are so great because you can go super fast all around the hills! City of York Bay. Ooh, was there a shipwreck here? How exciting. It feels so secluded. Every beach just has a few people on it. Obviously, like, when you're near it to the main centre, that was, like, loads of kids and it was a bit like, ooh! But the further out you go, it just gets more peaceful. In and the water goes in. The water is very nice. It's so clear and so refreshing. City of York Bay was an excellent beach. I very much like this one. I like them all though, don't I? Oh god. <laughs> oh she can't leave. There's a quite a steep hill to get down here. So I think that's why there's not many people here because I honestly, if I didn't have an e-bike, I would not be keen to ride back up that hill. But I have a speedy boy, so off we go. Yeah, we've not got too far, <laughs> not even a third of the way around and we have already lost half the day, so we better get a move on. We have come to the end of the road now and we have come across this beautiful little spot. Seems to be quite a few people with their boats down there and having a little snorkel paddle boarding. Um, it looks really nice and it looks like there's loads to see in there and the water is beautifully clear. Pretty well protected too but you do need a boat to get down there so you can't walk down. It is, um, yeah, it's a restricted area because of the danger of the cliff. But here, up on this um, this westernmost point, I think it is. It is very wavy here. You see the full force of the Indian Ocean crashing against the rocky reef, and uh, looks like good surf actually. <laughs> and here we are on the West End Boardwalk. It looks like a charity-sponsored boardwalk. It's one of those recycled plastic. Very hot on the old feedies, <laughs> but um, it's cool. We can see all directions around here. Waves are rolling in from everywhere, and uh, the landscape is pretty dramatic, actually. It looks cool.
I am absolutely cream crackered and a bit hot and I've seen an acai bowl truck. Let's go and get one. How's your acai bowl? Sugary. We are off to Parker Point and we're gonna go find Porpoise Bay because we got told that it was a very nice one. And it's been about one hour since we've been in the ocean, which is a crime. This poor push bay over there. There's quite a few um, boats moored up there. It looks a little bit busy, but we've just passed a place called Henrietta Rocks. Um, looks like there's a cool shipwreck down there too, so we may see if we can go down there for a little swim. Yeah, yeah boo. Henrietta Rocks. So located around the settlement area are these water stations and you can bring your refillable bottle and fill up water, stop using plastic and uh, very environmentally friendly. We're back at the basin now and we are going to get back in the water because it's so nice and warm. So many nice beaches. We have now got to go back and try and catch our ferry at four. The cockers seem to be around the settlement. I think they're just here to try and find the crumbs. Um, they're just chilling, sleeping. Um, you're not allowed to touch them, but you're allowed to take selfies with them. <laughs> but yeah, they are super cute. We've got some vegan cauliflower wing tacos. Just to tie us over while we wait for the ferry. The ferry's already here, but. <laughs> well, everybody, we've had a fabulous day at Rotness Island. We hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you've got any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>